A new survey reveals the fish you buy may not be what you think. An environmental group says more than a third of the 1,200 samples it tested in sushi bars and grocery stores were mislabeled. The fish turned out to be lower quality and in some cases dangerous. Urbashi Rangan is Director of Consumer Safety and Sustainability at Consumer Reports. Welcome. Thank you so much. So what fish are we talking about here? What are the biggest offenders? The biggest offenders seem to be red snapper. They seem to be tuna, grouper. We found sole was also mislabeled. Those tend to be the biggest ones. And this can be a health risk too, right? It can be a health risk too. Oftentimes cheaper fish are being substituted and being sold as more expensive fish. That's one reason. But sometimes higher mercury fish are being substituted. In addition for white tuna, an interesting fish called escalar, which isn't even a tuna, but an eel-like fish that has a oil so that can cause gastrointestinal distress can often be substituted. So the selling it as tuna is not tuna and it may be dangerous to you. That's right. Yeah. Here's what's interesting. You suggested as we began to talk about this that there are a lot of studies like this and they all say the same thing, but nothing seems to be achieved by the studies. That's right. There's been a number of studies over the past few years, including one done by Consumer Reports, where we found similar findings. But the mislabeling of fish seems to be pervasive and nationwide. It's happening at grocery stores, but the problem's even worse at restaurants, and sushi bars seem to be the worst of all. So who's doing it? Is it the fishermen that are doing it? Is it the restaurants that are doing it? Who's responsible? It's a great question. There are so many steps to the chain. 84% of our fish in this country is imported. So there are many steps to getting here, distribution systems. The tracking systems are not very good. FDA is now stepping up surveillance based on DNA testing, not just looking. And hopefully, once that gets into place, we're going to have some better tracking systems. Yes. I have a question. Do you think you would know if you were at a sushi <laughs> yeah, place and you ordered white tuna and instead it was escarole? Would you know the difference? You would not necessarily know the difference. But remember, if you see white tuna, that should be the first red flag. And if it looks something like a pale white fish that doesn't seem to really look like the tuna you're eating, those are good cues for you to ask more questions. Rabashi Rangan, thank you. Thank, thank you so much.